Let's try out this pretty tricky counting question from 2018 Amy 1. It was the problem 7 on the test. A right hexagonal prism has height of 2 and the bases are regular hexagons with side lengths of 1. So we have the bases being the regular hexagon that looks something like this and it's hexagonal prism so we know we're going to have another regular hexagon down below, something like this, so something like this, and of course we can draw out the dotted lines. So we have this hexagonal prism, and we know any three of the 12 vertices determine a triangle, so we can pick the three vertices, connect them, and we should have a triangle, and there are 6 vertices on top, 6 vertices down below, so there are 12 vertices, we are picking 3 of them. Find the number of these triangles that are isosceles, including equilateral triangles. To begin with, let's observe that there are two types of isosceles triangles that we can have. There are the isosceles triangles that are entirely contained, within the top hexagon or the bottom hexagon, and there are isosceles triangles that stretch from the top hexagon to the bottom hexagon like this. So we have two different types of isosceles triangles that we have to work with. So for the first case, we have the isosceles triangles that are entirely in one hexagon, top or bottom, and we have the isosceles triangles that have points on both hexagons. So let's divide into the two cases. For the first case, we let's draw out let's draw out a hexagon. And how many isosceles triangles are there? Well, we can pick this vertex to be the vertex of our isosceles triangle and draw our isosceles triangle like this. We can pick this vertex and draw out isosceles triangle like this. And same for this one, this one, this vertex, and this vertex. So we have six of these isosceles triangles that we can draw. And are there any equilateral triangles that we can draw? And yes, there are. We can draw an equilateral triangle that looks like this. So that's one of them. And we have another one that looks like this. So we have two more for the total of eight. So we have eight isosceles triangle on the top hexagon and the eight on the bottom hexagon. So we have so far found eight times two or 16. Now, how about the ones contained in both hexagons? This one is slightly trickier. So let's say we have our top vertex to be this vertex and we have two more vertices down below, how many of these triangles are isosceles? Well, to begin with, realize that this red point is directly below this blue point. And for the triangle to be isosceles, the two of the points on the below hexagon, on the bottom hexagon, has to be the equal distance away from this red point. So we can either pick the two points to be these two and draw our triangle like this, so that's one way. So we can go one to the left and one to the right, or we can go two to the left and two to the right to pick this point and this point. So two to the left and two to the right from the red point, and we can draw our isosceles triangle like this. So there are two different isosceles triangles that we can draw from each vertex. So we have 6 times 2 or 12 isosceles triangles that start at the top and stretch down below. And we can have the isosceles triangles that start at the bottom and st stretch upward as shown. So instead of starting at the top and po go going downward into two different branches, we can start at the bottom and go upward in two different branches. So we have another 12 of them that start at the bottom. So we have found 24 of them so far. So it seems like our answer may be 40, 16 plus 24, or 40. So is our answer 40? And the answer is no, there is one case, there is one more case that we forgot to count. And I am guessing hundreds of students missed this question on the Amy because they put 40 as the answer because they forgot one simple case. 
And what is the case that we are missing? Well, realize that we are not using the entire information giving, given to us in the statement of the problem. Realize that we did not use this information of height of 2 and the information of side lengths of 1. For, for the 40 isosceles triangles that we have found, the side lengths and height could have been anything. Our, our side lengths could have been 20, 18 inch for the hexagon and our height could have been 20,000 for only matters and we would have still gotten these 40 isosceles triangles. So, why are they telling us the height and the side lengths? Is there some significance? Is telling us the height and side lengths increasing the number of isosceles triangles somehow? And the answer is yes. So let's think about this. So let's say, so we know, we know this height is 2. And let me ask you this question. You know the side lengths of this equilateral triangle is 1, equilateral hexagon is 1. Is it possible to draw a segment of side length 2 on the hexagon? And the answer is yes. This segment, this segment shown, has side lengths of 2. And the easy way of seeing why it has side lengths of 2 is by drawing some equilateral triangles like this. And you know this equilateral triangle has side lengths 1, this one has side lengths 1, so the entire length has to be 2. So we could have drawn our isosceles triangle to be like this, 2, 2, and 2 times square root of 2, 45, 45, 90 triangle. So this was the case that we did not count. So now let's include it. For each of the vertices, so for each of the vertices, so if you pick this vertex, you can draw the triangle like this. And if you pick, if you pick this vertex, then you can draw the triangle like this. So for each of the vertices on the top of the hexagon, we have one of these extra triangles. So we have six of them. And how about for the triangles below? Well, if you had picked this point, then we can go across, go up, and draw our triangle to be like this. And that's a different tri triangle. So we have six more cases for us to count. So there are 12 additional cases, 1, 45, 45, 90 triangle for each of the vertices. So the, our final answer is not 40, but 40 plus 12 or 52. And because it's Amy, you have to include leading zero in your answer. So our answer is 052.